Oh God, bless these palm crosses, symbols of our faith. May those who hold these crosses know the presence of Christ. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. crucify him. May we walk in peace. Bring your gospel to the people. Go before us. Open the way. Put words to our lips. That we may glorify your name. We come here in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Orida Kroiso, welcome to our Palm Sunday Eucharist. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people, kindle in us the fire of your love.
the collect for Palm Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, in your tender love towards the human race, you sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Gospel reading for the Liturgy of the Palm. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Christ according to John, the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The next day the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it. As it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Psalm 118 verses 1 to 19 to 24 This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I will give you thanks for you answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, and to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. <clears throat> A 
amid the competing voices of our minds. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we have, we have sinned, sinned against Thee in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please Thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of Thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and now the readings of the Passion. The reading is taken from Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backwards. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> The reading is from Psalm 31, verses 9 to 16. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, my soul and my body also, for my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my affliction, and my bones are consumed. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbours, an object of dread to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they flee from me. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. I am forgotten like one that is dead, out of mind. I have become like a broken vessel, for I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is on every side. They scheme together against me and plot to take my life. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me O God of truth. 
but my trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from the hands of those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and save me for your mercy's sake. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Here ends the reading. They took Jesus to the high priest's home, where the leading priests, the elders, and the teachers of religious law had gathered. Meanwhile, Peter followed him at a distance and went right into the high priest's courtyard. There he sat with the guards, warming himself by the fire. Inside, the leading priests and the entire high council were trying to find evidence against Jesus so they could put him to death. But they couldn't find any. Many false witnesses spoke against him, but they contradicted each other. Finally, some men stood up and gave this false testimony. We heard him saying, I will destroy this temple made with human hands and in three days I will build another made without human hands. But even then, they didn't get their story straight. Then the high priest stood up before the others and asked Jesus, well, aren't you going to answer these charges? What do you have to say for yourself? But Jesus was silent and made no reply. Then the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothing to show his horror and said, Why do we need other witnesses? You've all heard this blasphemy. What is your verdict? Guilty, they all cried. He deserves to die. Then some of them began to spit at him, and they blindfolded him and beat him with their fists. Prophesy to us, they jeered, and the guards slapped him as they took him away. Meanwhile, Peter was in the courtyard below. One of the servant girls who worked for the high priest came by and noticed Peter warming himself by the fire. She looked at him closely and said, You were one of those with Jesus of Nazareth. But Peter denied it. I don't know what you're talking about. And he went out into the entryway. Just then a rooster crowed. When the servant girl saw him standing there, she began telling the others, this man is definitely one of them. But Peter denied it again. A little later, some of the other bystanders confronted Peter and said, you must be one of them because you are a Galilean. Peter swore, a curse on me if I'm lying. I don't know this man you're talking about. And immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Suddenly Jesus' words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny three times that you even know me. And he broke down and wept. who asks us to walk with him in Lent and follow him through Passion Tide and Holy Week is the same Jesus who preached about care of the unfortunates, looking after your brothers and sisters. 
It's the same Jesus who the writer of the letter to Hebrews talks about in great detail. And the writer to the letter of the Hebrews reminds us always entertain the stranger, be hospitable to the stranger, for without realising it some have entertained angels. And Jesus talks of the same care of others towards the end of Matthew's Gospel when he talks about the final judgment separating the sheep from the goat and he says to people look after the unfortunate and they turn around to him and say Jesus when was it we saw you in prison homeless thirsty hungry and we did these things for you and he says to them when you did it to the least of my brothers and sisters you did it for me too and so in this passion narrative as we walk with Jesus to the cross keep in your hearts and your minds that Jesus loves you so much that he was prepared to die on the cross for you to redeem you of your sins The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes and the whole council held a consultation. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the King of the Jews? And Jesus answered him, you have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things, and Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate wondered. Now at the feast he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he was wont to do for them. And he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that there was out of envy that the chief priests had delivered him up. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate again said to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him aside into the palace, that is the praetorium. And they called together the whole battalion. And they clothed him in a purple cloak. And plating a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him. Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck his head with the reed and spat upon him. And they knelt down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him, 
and divided his garments among them, casting locks for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So the chief priests mocked him to one another with the scribes saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. And those who were crucified with him also reviled him. When the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabbathani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And one ran, and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw he thus breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the younger and of Joseph and Salome, who when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered to him, and also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> 
Let us pray. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man is God's Son. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us show each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. Kubaladas a chavlaun and roi medeg daled, you bob amser akam hob, clear the ochiti, arkloi sanctaita, or flachiog, dragoid all view. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, that being lifted up from the earth, he might draw all human beings and all creation to himself. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. A gogoniant a maul a dioch a voi ti hochachio du eintad nevel triaduch an halu popeth ac when I thi rutin adadelu dehin. All glory, praise, and thanksgiving be unto thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Creator and Sustainer of all things, Maker of humankind in thine own image, who gave us thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. There he made the one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of that his precious death, until his coming again. Gan honey o dad trigarog, evan unanat sanctaido a thusbrickland o rodion hin. O vara a guin, fel a gallwni, a o derbyn yn ôl o dyn hat sanctaid da fab an gwerreru iesi gwys. That we may be partakers of his most precious body and blood. who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. When he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. But in more, when he supper after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me.
Am hynny o arglwydd a nefol dad. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, making the memorial of the blessed passion, mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of thy dearly beloved Son as he hath commanded us, rejoicing in his gift of the Holy Spirit and looking for his coming again with power and great glory, we, thy servants, with all thy holy people, who set forth before thy divine majesty this bread of eternal life and this cup of everlasting salvation. Akert vanunan at derbyn, ein habeth hwn o foliant a dioch, a roddi i ni, ac eith hoch eglwys, baddai an, on pechodau, a phob doniau eraill oedd ddiod efaint er. And we pray that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and be numbered in the glorious company of thy saints. And we can say together, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, in whom, and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? We who are many are one bread, one body. For we are all partakers of the one bread. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, Grant us thy peace. So our Saviour, Jesus Christ, taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Half a white priest of God, do one of our witches with them.
will give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. For his mercy endureth forever. Say together the prayer on page 17. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank thee for feeding us with the body and, and blood of thy Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, through whom, whom we offer to thee our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of thy Spirit to live and work to thy praise and glory. Amen. Just then the centurion looked up and said, Truly this is the Son of God. Deep peace of the running wave to you, deep peace of the flowing air to you, deep peace of the shining stars to you, deep peace of the quiet earth to you, deep peace of the Son of Peace to you, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Prayers be joined with those of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint David, Saint Gweno, Saint Ellen, Saint Ridian, Saint Iltid, Saint Maddox, Saint Caddock, Saint Kenneth, and all the saints. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy and protection of Almighty God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. when evening had come, since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he was already dead. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. And he brought a linen shroud and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb Mary Magdalene and Mary, mother of Jose, saw where he was laid.
This is the passion of the Lord.